Hello everybody and welcome back to another Cabin Crawl Turbo game where we are still trying to win as Pudge. I've played three games and lost all three games as Pudge. I have not recorded, I've recorded them but I'm not going to show them. Uh, two games had a bad in this and one game was just, we got stopped in literally 10 minutes of Turbo. So it was zero fun, nothing to show, nothing to learn of it. So what, what's the point? Also because these are supposed to be Cabin Crawl Easy Peasies, this would be rather redundant to show off losses. But getting a little bit annoyed now, getting kind of, not even a little annoyed, very annoyed. The one game... We're doing very, very well. Ironically, my Kunko, AFK is in base. Gets uh, abandoned from not doing anything for more than five minutes in base. You know when you yeah, AFK seconds. five minutes, you get an abandoned. All that happened, right? That's the first thing. Second game, we play the whole game. My Weaver, we're winning. We're doing great. My Weaver gets angry because he feeds or something. And he's like, okay, fine. He's angry. So what he does is he's like, he, he, he's like, fuck everyone. And he goes and runs mid and feeds. And I, I was like, Okay, I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to play your game, but I think this is kind of stupid, right? So I'm in a jungle here, it looks like, because I've got nowhere else to go. I'm not going to do all that with the tanking, there's just no way. It was just correct. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit, I'm very annoyed. I'm very, very annoyed, actually. Not even a little, very, very annoyed. Because like both games, I played perfectly. I did the exact perfect part things. The one game, I'll actually show you, because I'm not even ashamed to show. The one game, I did like really well. And then the next game, like... I did no very well early match. game, and then obviously I just follow up because like this is the last game I just played, right? I was the only one buying support items on my team. So basically, like from the five minute mark, I realized that we had no support items, so I had to just keep buying support items, which means I didn't get any items. Got one or two items when we died. In the early game, we were winning. We were killing people, and my Kunker just abandoned. He just he was like, nope, he's out. And then for fuck's sake. And my other game I played with uh Pudge, we gotta look over here. I was like, we literally killed the offline necrophos. He was 0 10. He was 0 10. At like 10 minutes, and then the other people in my team did this 1 5, 6 8, 6 5. And then my okay, my, my Tinker played well, he played well, he went to crap item ball, but he played well. All that happened was the Legion kept dueling people, he just kept dueling people, and no one on my team bought Lincolns, they only bought their link. He got his Lincolns like at the end of the game, and he had Lincolns. My Quap and my Sky kept getting dueled over and over, and then 216 damage Legion. What do you do? What do you even do? Literally has 216 damage. He literally fucking right clicks anyone down. I went to fight him as a pudge with like 5,000 HP and he just hit me to death. Like just hit me to death. I was like, this is insane. So yeah, very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Can't seem to get the win on the pudge yet. Uh, they pick pudge. I don't get to play pudge, which means I'm going to have to play axe. But if I play, if I win on axe, we got our cavern call over here. I'm actually going to get rid of the pudge place. I'm not going to be able to play pudge. And I really like playing pudge. I've got the pudge fucking arcade and everything. And I've made this beautiful situation. To have Pudge, and now they're like, no, the no, no Pudge for you. And it's very, very frustrating. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna need this, and I'm gonna get this first. Axe okay, we're just gonna stand in lane to get like level two, maybe even three, and then we will, uh. Good day to fight. Can we just stun here, maybe? Into wars, team. Uh, SK, can you wake up, dude? SK, can you wake up, dude? You stun them once, we get a kill, you just stand there. What the hell, dude? This SK is a fucking retard. He just had to go stun this fucking visage, or the arc, and we got a free kill. And instead, what did he do? He's that last hitting. Because he thinks he's some kind of fucking god call or something stupid. It's an actual guaranteed kill. It was an actual guaranteed kill. And now, it's just the, uh, the visage walks away. And I have to lose half my HP gauge. Why do I always get the bad guys on my team, like, every time? It's a little bit like, at, at some point it has to balance out, right? At some point they have to be like, nope, here you got the good guys for a change. Well, I guess we did get carried in quite a few of our games. I'm gonna die now because I can go nowhere. And that's all because I was low on HP. So I'm gonna go jungle now, because obviously this SK is not gonna do anything in lane. He didn't stun, he did nothing. He had stun. I just wanna point out he had stun. Look here. Yeah. He had stun, it was off cooldown. He could've stunned and saved me. But he didn't. He just stood there and left. And that's what happens every game. I'm getting over this. It's like, I, 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 look at this losing streak. Come on, look at this. I'm super tilted because I'm on a massive lose. Look at this. Losing, 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 losing. Just bad players on my team every time. Not much I can do about it either. So jungling is really boring, obviously, but I'm not going to fucking go to a lane where I'm going to get harassed out of the lane and my SK is not going to help me at all. He's going he's gonna to play greedy. When I went to that visage there, if he stunned the visage once, the visage was dead. One stun. One stun, he had a guaranteed kill. Instead, he last hit it in lane, got nothing out of the lane, not even level 2, and then I died because of it. It's super frustrating. 
It's the only problem I'm having when I play Dota. It's like the fact that Dota had to go be this like team game. And no matter how individually skilled you are, if your team fucks up, you lose the game. And it's very frustrating. Yes, there are some heroes you can play that um, definitely can like counteract that. So, very specific heroes that are super, oh, not super strong, just like they're really good in uh, situations where they can like, for instance, take Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker is a good one because he can solo carry a game, all right? So you play Bloodseeker, you get very farmed, you solo carry the game. You play uh, PA, you get like a uh, desert in turbo mode in five minutes, in normal game in 13 minutes, and you win the game, right? So that gets really nice. But in uh, good day to fight. in fucking almost any other hero, it's, it's, it's a team game, it does require teamwork. So if you get people that are bad at the game, or that do not understand the game, then unfortunately... Can you spin? Any spins. Any spins at all. Any spins, Axe. Just any spins, man. Any spins. Did you see how long I was attacking that creep there? I was attacking the creep for what? Seven seconds? Eight seconds? Of just right clicking and I didn't get one spin? You know what? That's what I'm talking about. RNG, man. RNG and Dota needs to move. All percentage based things need to move. It should be... Axe, this is what Axe should be. If it's 20% chance to helix, it should be that one of every four hits makes you helix. Not one of every five, because then it would mean you helix less than what you can possibly helix now. But it should be the one of every four hits makes you helix guaranteed. That would be so much better, because you know why? You could plan and build around it. You'd be like, okay, well, I know that after I take four hits, I'm going to get a spin. So if I call three people, three people will hit me once, one every second that means i'll get one spin every 0 0.75 seconds that's how it works that's the mass balance so it's very simple but no they think i make it percentage based it's like i was playing barrow the other day and i was playing barrow and i was going against a was i going against a void i can't remember i think i was playing void and going against a barrow I was playing something that had a 17% bash chance, which I think is Barra has a 17% bash chance. And the other hero had a 10% bash chance. And the other hero actually bashed more than I bashed. And I was like, I was watching this and I was actually talking about it with my friends. And I was like, well, what is this? I'm fighting this hero. He has a bash percent. I have a bash percent. My bash percent is higher than his bash percent. Did he bashes more? Which didn't make sense. I mean, obviously he, he might attack more often. So maybe that's why he bashes more. You know, he attacks every, uh, I don't know, maybe like he's got a one second attack speed where I've got a 0 0.9 second attack speed so maybe he attacks more but the point of the matter is it shouldn't be that much of a difference because the percentage should make up for it I don't know I don't know what the mass is on that actually like I, I would love to pretend I do I just don't but yeah so I was very annoyed by that I was got very very frustrated I was like really game really I just feel like Dota's really been like fucking me lately you know having just a couple of bad days I've lost like more games than I've won which doesn't happen often because I've got a 54% run rate for a reason so just a little bit annoyed and frustrated by this, but uh, luckily, jungle axe is the uh, easiest thing you've ever done in your whole entire life. So, it's gonna jungle axe here, get a blink up in like 10 minutes, probably, maybe later, and then uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't know if this will stack from a try anyway. Nope, it won't stack. Okay. Ah, it was stack. It did stack. Nice. Okay. We got it. Even we even got a little stack going. That's nice. I'm not sure what the stack timing is. Oh, that's why I don't know. Especially on melee here is the. No, oh, that's a great hook. Uh, especially Amelia's. I'm so like upset about that last game that I played of the Pudge. I kind of want to upload it because I I got the, such great hooks, man. I got these like amazing hooks. Like I did fuck up once. I uh, accidentally altered a creep right next to the uh, enemy hero that I wanted to alt. But I mean that could happen to the best of us. Let's be honest. It could happen to you. It could happen to me. It could happen to anybody. Uh, it happened to me though. <laughs> that's not the point. The point is we're gonna try and get our blink here. We're gonna jungle till we have our blink. Gonna get our blink. Gonna get blame more. We're gonna go around. We're gonna stop murdering people. Right? That's the plan. Take I think. Not sure. I haven't decided yet. What I have decided is that I want to get a little bit of uh, a win on him about. So this will help a little bit. Can, okay, can you just kill these bad guys so you can summon these little children? Thank you. You know I want to summon these children? It's more losses. I don't think I'll be able to get out of here in time. No, I won't. Okay. Can I, can I tank an uh, ancient camp? Mm, I don't know. I need the armor. It's 40 armor? Are you serious? That's insane. Just give you bonus 40 armor. 40 armor is ridiculous. Like, if you have 40 armor, you're not taking any damage. I'm assuming. Well, not from physical damage at least. Of course, magical damage will fuck you. Wow, well, okay. It takes way too long to farm an ancient camp. So maybe that's not a good idea. 
What is the difference? 0 0.4 seconds. That doesn't seem like a lot of seconds, but it probably is. I don't know. Here comes the Spin. Thank you. Um, looking at this, if we carry on at this rate, we're gonna have our blink in about a minute. Uh, maybe less than a minute, depending on how many creep caps we can clear out and how fast. Spin, baby, spin! Spin, Nax! You got a... It's still 20%, I guess. I guess the percentage chance doesn't change. Uh, you take the attack speed. I like the attack speed axe build. Which gets... Which is, um... More spins for the faster attack speed. I build the Majolna axe with uh, AC. I'm glad my team's winning without me for a change. I know I just complained about the sinking, but my Slark is apparently doing very well. I'm actually getting carried by the Slark, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. I get carried a lot by the in these turbo games, which I said, but it's also... Unfortunately, the games I upload is the games where I carry, and then we lose. Because... Well, I have my blink coming, so I'll just stand over here and wait it up. Waiting up my blink on my blink, and I look for the perfect opportunity. And the perfect opportunity is here in call. I got stunned as I called. Well, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I, I got I got stunned as I landed for the call. The boat landed the second I blinked in. That's very unfortunate. That is very unlucky. Like I blinked in and he just happened to boat, really? That is very, very unlucky. Like what's the actual mathematical chance? And then I still got ruptured, so that means my team died without them wasting boat or rupture. Excuse me? How do you die? How do you die? <laughs> How do you die if the enemy doesn't use two of their alts? Excuse me? It's very- that, that confuses me a lot. I'm gonna go back to jungle and talking about them up. Uh, that's the only problem with, uh, I have with Axe is that, that delay on that call is too much and then when you go in for the call then uh, AOE stun such as Tide or even Cooker's Boat, for instance, apparently, which I've never actually experienced, but you know, it can happen. It just happens, so obviously it can happen. Um, yeah, you go in for the call and as you land the call you get stunned and you just kind of stand there and like die before the uh, call can activate and you die and then like by the time you activate call you've already lost my or as you saw most of my HK, HP, HP gauge I got ruptured I was just low, a lot of unfortunate stuff that happened in a row there Can you just spin X? Can you spin? Can you spin? Can you spin? Thank you I hate RNG man I hate it Okay now you guys are being idiots now you guys are fighting 3v5 the whole time and the enemy is picking you off. And they're getting a lot of comeback gold because it's turbo. You guys played so well earlier. Now you're just playing like retards. I've almost got my blame up. What do I get off the blame? Is on the first or AC first? I might get AC. I don't have blink for a few seconds, so. I can't get there. I need a few seconds. Chase, 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 chase. They better chase. They're not gonna chase? They're not gonna chase. Why didn't they chase? Okay, let's get our blam up. Okay, next item I'm gonna get is going to be the Mirjolna. It's really good, I like it a lot, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy killing. it. Blade mail. Blade mail. Oh, hooking a pudge, oh, calling a pudge is not a good idea. He attacks at the speed of one, which means I'm gonna spin almost never. That was the perfect call, I could've got like five kills there if I just didn't get hit by that boat. Man, that boat fucked me hard. Who would've thought? It was actually kind of cool. I'm actually like a little bit impressed with the Kunko. Even though it was obviously luck, he just boated and then I happened to blink and he was like, Oh look, three, uh, three axe just blinking in. But uh, yeah, you know, it still fucked me big time, so obviously it worked. But they, the problem is they keep fighting and like, on the enemy side of the map where none of us can get to, so even if we wanted to help them, we physically can't. And uh, it's something that actually I experience a lot with my team is that we're always fighting in these really bad places where there's no shrine or there's no tower or something like that to actually for the team to get there and help. It's something you need to learn in Dota. It's that you need to no positioning. Like being here in their jungle means I have to tip this tier one or this shrine to get to you. By the time I get to you, that you have you have either died and I wasted a TP and time and I'm possibly gonna die, or You've either won the fight. Those are the two options. Now, if you win the fight, that's a bargain. That's great. That's awesome. Everyone's happy, right? But most of the time, it's the lesser. You've lost the fight and it's too late. Um, do I want a... That's what's happening down here. Okay, you guys... I thought you three against one. So I thought you'd be fine. I don't know how you guys died. In all honesty. I looked at that. I looked at it and I was like, okay. You guys are three against one. You'll be fine. I look again and I see that someone on my team has died. I can't go defend, I need a vendetta. 
Oh, his name has been. I thought. Was, I thought he was saying he had been dead already. I thought he was like a. Um, a Nyx assassin. I was really confused for like a long time. Relax, Mr. PA. For fuck's sake, we coming, dude. We just farming up a jungle quickly. Yes, lure them all. Lure them all for me, baby. Oh, I missed. Oh, wait. Something broke my. Something broke my. Uh, something broke my. What is. What is happening? What is. What's happening? I'm getting controlled up or something? Or what's happening? I'm very confused right now about what happened. Something broke my blink, and I don't know what bro broke my blink. Is there radiance on someone? Yeah, I must say, like, we. I don't know why we're the Sanking and the Slark are, but. What broke my blink though? I tried to blink and my blink didn't activate. Did he saw did he saw absorption me before? I don't understand what broke my blink. Holy shit. This guy's uh, you are dead disrupt. You can't I mean disrupt you fit why would you TP in there? Like there's an arc ward in there. He's level twenty, he's super farmed and you TP in by yourself. I don't know what broke my blink. Something broke my blink and I'm very frustrated because I can't even TP in there. If I TP in there, I'm just gonna die because the the, the birds will see me. Um, what broke my blink though? Something something obviously broke my blink because I I tried to blink and then I didn't blink and I called because I thought I blinked and then I didn't. so something broke my blink. But I just, the problem is I don't know what and it's weird. And what maybe he had birdies that saw me and the birdies were hitting me before I could blink in. I don't know. Something broke my blink. I couldn't blink there. Axe is kind of a snowball here, we need kills. I'm getting zero kills here because I'm just not fucking getting anything. Because A, we never vision up, so I can never see where the fucking enemies are. And B, I'm still trying to recover from having to jungle because I had to share the land with fucking Sanking who just abandoned me when I went off the visage. And then when they went on me, he just didn't stun. He could have stunned and saved me, but he was like, eh, he doesn't want to stun me. Okay. We're going to have our Majon up soon, which is exciting. And, oh, you know what it was? Kunkka splashed. Kunkka splashed, and then he broke my blink. That's what happened. That's what happened. Kunkka splashed, and he broke my blink. Because I was wondering what the fuck broke my blink. I didn't understand. I tried to blink, and then I just didn't blink. And that's why. Because I didn't have a... Uh, or because he broke my blink with his splash. I would love to go in, dude, but I don't know where they are because we have no fucking wards up here. So they could all be standing there, we just don't know because we've got no vision. You can tell by the way that visage moved that they obviously have sentry wards up for the slot. I'm gonna go in here, even though I don't agree with them. How did I die? How did he out damage me? I don't understand. Throw a dagger, throw a dagger, throw a dagger, throw a dagger. Oh my god, this PA just refused to throw daggers. He refused to throw daggers. Where is our disruptor? Nice, he's coming though, he's coming. How did Bloodseek out damage me? Just hit me for a thousand damage like I meant nothing? That's a PA for you. Broken here. I don't know. I can't believe that the axe Bloodseeker actually out there. I guess I didn't proc any spins. I'm assuming I didn't proc any spins. It's the only logical explanation I can think of. Um, now we want is AC, right? AC is going to give me physical stuff, which I want. And it's going to give me um, more attack speed, which I want. And armor reduction for them, which I want. This does physical damage or magical? Pure damage. Ooh, it does pure damage. Okay. Well, we got a kill on the board at least, so it's better than we've been for the whole fucking game. I got a three-man call, and all we needed to win that fight was a disrupt out on top of my call, but it just wasn't there. It just wasn't there, guys. But we got the uh, Majon up now, which is huge for damage, and we've got the uh, for the uh, the uh, proc percentage with the sack speed, which is always good. I hate these ancients; they're so strong. And now we just need to get this AC up, and once we get this AC up, we'll be fine. We get AC up, get the TP boots up, and then we'll get rid of the uh, final thing, which is the 
uh, Vanguard and we'll Enemy get like a, uh, a better item. This is real by the way. Just leap, dude. He's right there. Rest is for the dead. Did you know he had a shadow blade? Because I didn't know he had a shadow blade. Sell your stupid buckler and get that. Now I've got to carry detection because there's a fucking gay blade on the fucking. Dude, I should have known there was one though. Because this is um, uh, this is turbo and Evan and turbo bolts gay blade because it's like. They bad at the game. I never build item. I refuse. I refuse to build that item. It's an item that I just don't build. That's an item I refuse to build. I just hate it. I hate that item completely. It's like, oh, I'm bad at Dodo. I'm just gonna build the Lothars, and suddenly I can always get away from anything, and I can always uh, survive any fight. Why would you come take my farm? Why? You're not buying detection anyway. Why would you take my farm? I'm gonna go shine up, get some mana. Good day to I don't know what you're saying, Mr. Dude, because I don't understand your language. I'm still tilted from the last patch game. That last patch game was so fast, and it should have been a win. The, the last patch game should have been a guaranteed win, and then it just wasn't because of the Kunkka that left. The Kunkka just left the game. He actually just left the game. He was in the game, and he was like, I'm out. I'm done. I'm fucking out. Do, 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 do. Are you in this? You have an invis room, which is gonna run out very soon. Just go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, you pussy. He's the biggest pussy I've ever seen in my whole life. Fucking pussy. Oh, pussy players, man. Make my life hard. Boop. Okay. Unless you guys have detection, you're just gonna go invis. Hey, you actually had detection. Congratulations. Who had detection? Was it disrupted? Yeah, it was disrupted. No, he didn't drop a sentry. The Slark had detection? Slark had detection! He listened to me. That's so nice. Can't believe people actually bought detection in this game. I know I don't have detection, but it's because I don't have a fucking and slot for detection. Killing. That's the difference. That's why supports. Well, I, I hate it when I play supports and they're like, oh, the course can carry detection too. Yes, no, we can. You are correct if you've got the slot for it. But usually, as a core, you are. You have your farming item, you've got your boots item, and you've got your TP, which you need to have, which I don't even have, which is really bad. And then you've got like your fucking. Uh, well, I don't think we should fight this, but if I'll go. I'm coming. I can't go until the silence is done. I can't go because I don't know where they are. I can't see them, so I can't go. Because there's no wards up. There's no wards, so we don't know where they are, so we can't go there. Did he just rupture my SK? I don't know, blink for five seconds. Cut and run. I can't cutting blade because I'm s getting I'm busy getting what's gonna call it. I'm getting a uh, patch altered so I couldn't axe call cutting blade. Do, 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 do. My SK is in base, my disruptor is sitting in base, and my PA is for jungling. Don't tell me I got another AFK. If I don't have another AFK, I'm gonna literally lose my shit. I'm gonna absolutely lose my shit because this is the fourth game in a row I'm gonna have AFK then. And I'm actually, I, I can't handle that right now. I actually just can't handle that right now. I cannot get four AFKs in one game. That's so frustrating. I don't understand why they're fighting here. They're like, they're fighting here and we've got no detection and they're fighting there and then they die and they're like, Where's my team? We died on the enemy side of the river. By their shrine and tower with no detection and I'm so confused guys. I'm so confused. How did we die? Um, do I need to answer that? Or are you gonna figure it out yourself? Tell me please, I would like to know. It's not rocket science. It's really not rocket science, but unfortunately it seems to be I need the Lincolns here, so I can stop getting eruption and stop getting pudge out it. Pudge out uh without the pudge out I killed him there. I would have still died, but at least would have taken pudge with me, so pudge out is a problem, and you get rid of it. This get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get this. Of course, I would have loved me a little bit of. Uh, I don't know where I'm teeping to right now. Okay.
Goes. Probably shouldn't have TP'd, that was a bad idea. That was my fault. Okay, so Slark literally just led them into the rush pit where my Phantom Assassin was Rose Shani. Which, it's, it's an interesting strategy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I'm camming, I'm camming. By the time I get this, this fight will be over. I was a little bit better. Can you use the ultimate fucking me uh, bloody shit that is the strongest fuckers you've ever seen in your whole entire life? Just fuck off. Just push. Don't worry about the bottom. Push. We can outpush them. It's a pretty slack at die there, but that's okay. Wow, the region is insane. What is this region? What is back double protection? That's really good. Apparently, backdoor protection is really good. Okay, now we need to get ready to call this arc warden. There he is. Ooh, okay. Let's take the Rex here. Probably should have gone for the melee Rex first, but it's fine. Just waiting for this guy to out of business up a little bit. Like, no. Not I thought it was there, but he wasn't there. He has a lot of Atos. I mean, that's fine, but probably not the right choice. And I'm fucking out of here, dude. I'm not gonna stick around here, you crazy. And that's sticking around here. There goes our gem. Very bad. I mean, I can go back, but I really don't think it's a good idea, but I'll go back. Yeah, I died, but that's fine. Get back, please. I don't have buyback. Oh, PA is dead. You guys should stop hitting Fountain Oak, please. The range is like this. Wow, so Aeon, Aether Lens really gives you more range on that. Oh! You don't have a Lincoln's and you don't, and your BKB is on cooldown yet you still fight. That's genius move. Absolutely genius move, Mr. PA. We should have just left and not gone back and pushed our lanes. Why do people keep fighting? I never understood this. They're like, hmm. Every single one of my teammates have bought back and my entire enemy, t or my entire team that tanks for me, aka the Axe and the Sanking, are AFK slash dead. I'm gonna go in guys, I'm gonna go in and dive towards their fountain. Just fucking back, regroup and take bot and then take top. It's not, I should have just never gone back and I should have just taken top. I could have probably taken top. I attack really fast. Oh, I made a mistake uh, by thinking that my team weren't retards, but they were retards. But that's my own fault. I deserve that, I deserve that. I TP to the shrine and pray that he doesn't find me. I have, kind of have buyback right now. And now I definitely have barbeck. Oh yeah, so we got even more attack speed now, thanks to the uh, the moonshot. <laughs> Axe is gone through, that's pretty cool, I've never thought about that. I'll just stand here, maybe someone shows up to stop the thing. You went to the wrong neighborhood, Mr. Bloodseeker. Absolutely wrong neighborhood, dude. And that's how you bait out kills by sending illusions to attack shrine, apparently. Okay, with the three cores down, this should be easy, Rex. Just take the Rex top slot. Stop trying to fight people, please. Slot keeps fighting. Just take the Rex. Rex. See? Rex are great, guys. Okay, Arc Warden's up in a few seconds. Stop fighting and take the Rex, guys! Yeah, people are crazy, dude. You could take Rex and win the game, and they're like, 
Let's, let's go fight uh, people. Oh, I'm like, I'm watching retards diving fucking fountains and so just take the racks and win the game. I'm trying to do my cabin call here, please. I'm gonna go kill that Ock one. Is that an illusion Ock one? No, that's a real Ock one. That's an one. To the enemy. Okay, I need to go. Nope, that's dead. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I refuse to die here and feed the game to them. Take the shrine, it's fine. I hit very soft though. I must. I hit fast, but I hit very soft. Is my is my spin almost spinning? Like, does my attack look faster than my spin? Come get a moonshot, someone. PA, you need a moonshot. You have one. Slock, come here. So it's probably the wrong choice, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I wanna win this game. Is Roshan up again? Oh no. Do, do, do. The cheese would be very nice, but I don't think I can afford to take it. Okay, my slot's gonna feed now, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go take this shrine. Get some more gold. I didn't have buyback money because of that. Maybe I shouldn't have bought slot a shot. But my PA's gonna get ages now. We can just go top and take the uh What's my color? I just gave Slog 4000 net worth. That's insane. That's insane that you can do it. I I'm I'm be really, be really cool if someday someone decides to uh build a strata on that, like have a support just like fucking get uh I don't know yeah. Uh Rest is for the dead. <laughs> My reaction time on Lincoln's is really fast. Enemies Let's just push top killing. an end, please. I don't have buyback, so if I die, I'm dead. Axe goes. I can't, I can't do this. I don't have buyback. If I get picked up, I'm dead. Oh, he gave me cheese, but I can't really use the cheese. Can you just go with your Aegis? I see a call of fucking destiny. I see me getting out of destiny. I use the cheese and then we go back in. That was a call of destiny right there. Okay, thank god my fucking PA fucking carried our butts, even though he was a big baby. I was a big baby though, in this game. It was a very frustrating game. I had to go jungle. Got bad luck on that one Kunkka out. It was a freaking good slash lucky Kunkka I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Put a moonshot for my Slark though. Nice on me. So I don't feel too bad. Slark did, early, did very well early game and he just started like falling off. It's really weird. Oh, it was not a fun game. It was actually not a fun game. I did not enjoy it. It's not like I don't like going sitting in the jungle for fucking ten minutes and then coming out of the jungle with items for ten minutes and then and then I still came out and failed big time. So it sucked even more. But that's another Coven call done at least. But not a very great episode if I don't say so myself. I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, feel bad about that one. It sucks. That I'm never gonna get my Pudge win, but it's almost impossible. It almost feels impossible. Anyway, excuse me, game. Excuse me. What the fuck is that? How am I supposed to, like, you locked off both those? Is this also going to be both locked off? I actually wonder about that. So you need to play Ricky, Centaur, Quop next for next turn. I don't understand. I don't understand. <sighs> what to do? Also, we won that game because of Disrupt, by the way, in case you guys didn't, like, if I didn't make it very clear. The support items he bought were ridiculous. Look at this. Support items, supporting. Supporting is huge. Uh, Slock actually bought a couple of items, which is nice, but, uh, yeah. No, definitely carried us, but yeah. Luckily, I did buy uh, Moonshot for my... I think if you buy a Moonshot for someone else, it should fall under support items. Because you're kind of like buffing your other people, which is kind of what supports do with wards and gems and stuff. And Korean things. I don't know. I don't know. And um, But yeah, that was an axe game. Very boring game. Wasn't fun. They didn't enjoy it actually at all. Uh, the problem I'm having like with Turbo at the moment is it's, like, it's very one-sided. Like you either win very hard or you lose very hard. And that, that game was never... 
even risky. Like, we were winning from the get-go. Yeah, there was a couple of points where we fucked up the fight, no doubt. I would, I'm not going to deny that fact. But at most of the... Basically... I need to place a lot of observer boards. Okay, we'll least on my wiki challenge. So we're going to be playing support probably from now on. So basically, regardless of how well we did or not, that was uh, still easy. It was still an easy run. It wasn't... I was never I was never scared. I was never like, oh shit, we could lose this. Not once. Um, that's why I built the way I built and I built a bit stupid. But that, uh, I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like those type of games. Just PA things, you know. It's frustrating. PA and stock things. Getting free wins. But uh, yeah. I, may, I messed up quite a few... They uh, messed up two calls that I can remember straight off the bat. And the Kunko boat was just a bit unfortunate, I think. Anyway, that's going to be it in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. I'm just tilted from the previous patch game. The previous patch game was very frustrating. And uh, these freaking Shadow Blades, man. I was so over Shadow Blade. Guys, want, like, they must make a game mode where there's no Shadow Blade. That would be fun. I would be very happy about that. But that will all be in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.